Hello everyone. Hermeticism is a deep and multifaceted spiritual path that encompasses a wide range of ideas and concepts. These complex ideas are often communicated through enigmatic symbols. In Hermeticism, symbols serve to transmit hidden knowledge, establish a connection with the divine and provide spiritual guidance. They function as a universal language, making hermetic ideas more accessible and comprehensible. Due to its expansive nature, this spiritual tradition incorporates symbols from various origins, including Greek, Egyptian, alchemical and astrological traditions. Each symbol carries profound and varied meanings, reflecting the rich diversity of influences that make up hermeticism. The importance of these symbols can vary depending on interpretation and context. To facilitate understanding and deepen our study, we will divide the exploration of these symbols into two distinct videos. In the first video, we will explore some of the main hermetic emblems and their surprising meanings. Stay with us and discover the hidden depths of these spiritual symbols. In the next video, we will continue our journey, analysing the remaining symbols and uncovering even more mysteries of hermeticism. The Emerald Tablet the Emerald Tablet is a fundamental text in Hermeticism, attributed to the legendary figure Hermes Trismegistus. Although it is not a symbol in the traditional sense, its importance lies in its cryptic and profound content, especially the famous phrases, as above, so below. This maxim encapsulates the Hermetic principle that the microcosm reflects the macrocosm, meaning the inner reality mirrors the outer universe. This principle is one of the pillars of hermetic thought, suggesting that understanding the natural world can help unravel greater cosmic mysteries. The idea is that everything in the universe is interconnected and that the processes and laws governing the macrocosm also operate in the microcosm. Thus, self-understanding and self-development are paths to understanding the complexities of the cosmos. The Emerald Tablet is also revered for revealing secrets about the Prima Materia, the primordial material believed to be the source of all existence. Mastery of this substance is considered essential for spiritual and alchemical transformation, symbolically transmuting base metals into gold. This process of transmutation represents the alchemist's quest for enlightenment and spiritual perfection. The Ouroboros the Ouroboros is often depicted as a serpent or dragon devouring its own tail, forming a perfect circle. This ancient symbol has its origins in ancient Egypt, but is also found in various other spiritual traditions, including alchemy and Gnosticism. Its representation is rich and multifaceted, symbolising the cyclical nature of existence and eternal renewal. In the 15th century, when alchemical thought merged with Hermeticism, the Ouroboros was integrated into the Hermetic framework. In the context of Hermeticism, it is a powerful symbol of eternity and the infinite cyclical nature of the universe. It represents the idea of primordial unity, something that has existed since the beginning of time, with a force or quality that cannot be extinguished. The Ouroboros also symbolizes the eternal cycle of destruction and renewal, death and rebirth, this continuous regeneration is seen as a process of purification and spiritual evolution. The serpent, by devouring its own tail, is a metaphor for self-reflection and a return to the origin, indicating an ongoing cycle of self-renewal and the quest for perfection. Additionally, the Ouroboros reflects the hermetic philosophy that the microcosm and macrocosm are interconnected, what happens on an individual level reflects what occurs in the universe. This connection between the individual and the universal is central to hermetic thought, reinforcing the belief that through introspection and transformation, one can achieve a deeper understanding of the cosmos. The Caduceus The Caduceus is a staff entwined by two serpents, often topped with wings, Although it is frequently confused with the rod of Asclepius, a symbol of medicine, the caduceus is actually the symbol of Hermes, the Greek messenger god. Hermes is known for his cunning and skill in negotiations, and the caduceus reflects these attributes, representing commerce, negotiation, and reciprocity. In the context of Hermeticism, the central figure is Hermes Trismegistus, 
a fusion of Hermes and the Egyptian god Thoth. Hermes Trismegistus is considered the author of many esoteric and alchemical texts that form the foundation of Hermeticism. In Hermeticism, the caduceus symbolizes the inherent duality of existence such as good and evil, life and death, and how these opposing forces are balanced and intertwined. The two serpents represent these antagonistic forces, and their entwining symbolizes the harmonization and balance of these forces in the quest for spiritual knowledge. Additionally, the caduceus represents the ascension of spiritual knowledge. The central staff symbolizes the path to enlightenment and spiritual awakening, while the ascending serpents represent the rise of kundalini energy, a concept referring to the awakening of spiritual consciousness residing at the base of the spine. The wings at the top of the caduceus symbolize transcendence and the elevation of the soul, reaching higher levels of wisdom and understanding. The Phoenix The Phoenix, a mythical bird that cyclically regenerates from its own ashes, holds profound significance in Hermeticism. It symbolizes the concepts of death and rebirth, which are central to the alchemical process of transformation. In Hermetic thought, the Phoenix is associated with the phase of calcination, a stage where something is reduced to ashes and separated into its fundamental parts, representing purification and the elimination of impurities. The Phoenix embodies the idea that the self undergoes fundamental renewal or enlightenment. As the Phoenix rises renewed from the ashes of its previous form, it represents the journey of the soul transcending its past limitations to achieve a higher state of existence. This cycle of destruction and rebirth is seen as a powerful metaphor for personal and spiritual regeneration. In Hermeticism, the Phoenix not only symbolizes transformation, but also resilience and the capacity to overcome adversity. Its image serves as a reminder that through the destruction of old patterns and the purification of old habits, we can emerge stronger and more enlightened. The Phoenix stands as an emblem of hope and continuous renewal reinforcing the hermetic belief in the soul's capacity to transform and evolve perpetually. Monas Hieroglyphica The Monas Hieroglyphica is one of the rare genuinely unique symbols created within the hermetic tradition. It refers to both a book and a symbol developed by John Dee, an Elizabethan alchemist and astrologer. In his book, Dee presents a complex symbol composed of astrological elements which he called the Monas Hieroglyphica, the main components of this symbol include the circle, symbolizes unity and eternity. The crescent represents the moon, reflecting the passive receptive or feminine principle. The cross illustrates the elements of earth and the material plane. The sun symbol at the top symbolizes fire and the active masculine principle. It is believed that understanding this symbol can provide profound insights into the workings of the universe. In Hermeticism, Dee's symbol is intended to represent the synthesis of all alchemical elements into a single unified expression, encapsulating the mysteries of the cosmos. Additionally, the Monas Hieroglyphica is seen as a key to unlocking the secrets of nature and creation. Dee believed that this symbol contained a universal language that could be deciphered to gain a deeper understanding of the laws governing the universe. Thus, the Monas Hieroglyphica not only serves as an emblem of cosmic unity, but also as a tool for meditation and the pursuit of spiritual wisdom. The Hexagram The Hexagram is a six-pointed star, widely known as the Star of David in Judaism, but it also holds significant meaning in various esoteric traditions. In the Hermetic context, the hexagram symbolizes the union of opposite and complementary forces reflected in the elements of fire and water. The upward pointing triangle represents fire, symbolizing active and masculine energy, while the downward pointing triangle represents water, symbolizing passive and feminine energy. This combination of opposing triangles creates a powerful symbol of balance and harmony, in Hermeticism, the hexagram represents the synthesis of opposites, the integration of the material and spiritual aspects of existence. It embodies the idea that true wisdom and spiritual fulfillment come from harmonizing these contrasting forces. Additionally, 
the hexagram is seen as a symbol of the interconnection between the macrocosm and the microcosm, reflecting the hermetic belief that, as above, so below. This interconnection suggests that understanding universal laws can be achieved through self-knowledge and the integration of the opposing aspects of one's nature. The Alchemical Sulphur The alchemical symbol for sulphur consists of a triangle atop a cross, and it holds great importance in Hermeticism, where it represents the relationship between the spiritual and physical worlds. The upward-pointing triangle symbolises the spirit, or fire, striving to reach the divine. The cross below represents the earth and the material plane, grounding spiritual aspirations. In hermetic thought, this symbol highlights the role of the soul as a mediator, connecting the spirit to the physical body. It emphasizes the idea that personal growth involves balancing and integrating these spiritual and material aspects. This integration is essential for achieving harmony and spiritual transformation. Similarly, the alchemical sulfur symbol aligns with the hermetic principle, as above, so below, illustrating that transformations within the soul are reflected in the broader universe. This means that the pursuit of self-knowledge and spiritual fulfillment has a direct impact on understanding and harmony in the cosmos. As you can see, hermetic symbols come from various spiritual traditions, with very few being genuinely hermetic. Nonetheless, each of these symbols conveys different aspects of the complex philosophy of hermeticism. Stay tuned, as we have another part coming up where we'll explore more hermetic symbols in detail. Did we miss your favourite hermetic symbol? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us grow so we can make more videos like this and reach a wider audience. Thank you for watching and see you next time.